tough for you, for you? Uh, yeah, just for the simple fact that, you know, we left some players out there. Um, you know, we played our a pretty good game, but it wasn't good enough. So, um, you know, a lot of that stuff we put on us. Um, you know, we've been growing as a unit these last couple of weeks, and, you know, we just felt like, you know, we could have done more. Um, but, you know, kudos to, to Stanford. That's a great team. In taking away from, from that, you feel like Stanford's good preparation for this week against USC, and what specifically do you feel will help you? Um, you know, just, I guess, the physical mentality of Stanford. Um, you know, I think USC is also a physical team, um, but also on the outside, they got some, some pretty good receivers. Um, um, they, got, they got a real group, group of, <laughs> real good group of guys, and, uh, you know, we're looking forward to the challenge, you know, the DBs. And uh, you know, that's probably the biggest, biggest preparation is the phys physicality. Well, when you look back on uh, what you guys did in this past game, what do you feel you guys did uh, the best? What are you most proud of as a defense? Uh, just the way we, you know, we flew to the ball, flew around to the ball, and the attitude we played with. Um, you know, everybody's just talking about Stanford. They're there, they're there. You know, it's going to be heavyweight fighting. You know, they're real physical and this, that, and the other. But, you know, we played just as physical, if not, you know, more physical. I feel like we're, we're bringing it to them every play. And, you know, it wasn't no easy, you know, cakewalk. And I just liked the way that, you know, the guys fought. And, you know, at the end of the game, when things wasn't looking right, five minutes left, we just kept going and kept going and came up with a timely, you know, turnover to help the team. And just the, just that, you know, that drive and that, that passion uh, really showed this week. Does it help you moving forward? I mean, it's a quick turnaround, but you get right back on the field against another good team. Oh, yeah, most definitely. Um, you know, anytime you lose, you want to get that, that sour taste out your mouth. You know, you know, being a short week, um, you know, gives us the opportunity to do that faster. Um, you know, well, with that said, you know, you got to make sure you take care of your body and things like that. But you know, we're real excited to get to get on the field. Is it still out there as far as you know, one conference loss? Do you still have the same goals? Oh yeah, our goal is to win every game, mm -hmm. and our goal this week is to win the game against USC. So um, you know, the goals didn't change at all. Um, it's just a little bump in the road, but got to make sure that you know we can't we can't really dwell on that too much. Um, you know we watched the film on Sunday and we had to move on to USC. Is it any big deal that you know USC with that big high profile name? Or are you well past that with any of these teams you play? We're, we were past that. I think you know mostly every team in college football is more than likely just past that stage. And I think you can tell by just the upsets and things that's been happening with college football. Um, you know a school is a school. You can't you can't dictate you know how good they are off their past. Um, it's about the present and. Um, you know, USC is a great institution. You know, I'm not taking nothing away from them, but at the end of the day, I don't care who we play, USC, Alabama, Oregon, it really doesn't matter to me. That being said, Rashad, do you ever appreciate, I mean, there's a history between the Trojans and Oregon State here at Research Stadium. Mm -hmm. do, you, do you appreciate that rivalry and any memories for, for you? Oh, yeah, most definitely I do. Um, you know, I could just, I just remember in my senior season, um, you know, I was getting recruited by Oregon State, and I think that was the last time it took, I think SC was, they were ranked pretty high that year, and we ended up beating them up here in the fog. And, and I can just remember watching that. I was actually, you know, eating at a, a, a place called Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles back in LA. Um, I was actually eating there, and I um, also got memories of '09, my freshman year. Um, no, '010, my freshman freshman year. Um, you know, Jordan getting a pick six, and you know, we, we being, you know, being SC on this field again. Um, you know, it's it's great just to think about that rivalry and things like that. But you know, we can't. We got to make sure that you know we don't we don't. Uh, we can't really pay too much attention to that. We got to just worry about you know this USC team and um, you know, they got a great bunch of guys, so we got to be ready for that. What about this USC team that, that stands out in terms of their offense that you guys have to key on? Right, they got they got athletes. You know, if everybody knows SC, they they do a great job of recruiting. So you know they got athletes. Um, obviously, they haven't been able to put it you know, all together yet, but you know you know it, it's it's getting better and better week in and week out. So you got to make sure that you're on top of your game. You know, it's gonna be it's gonna be athletes all over that field and. We gotta make sure that all of our guys come prepared. Is this game getting getting in the way of any Halloween plans for you? Guys? Oh no, no, not at all. Not not for myself. Um, I'm not I'm not too big of a Halloween guy. Um, don't get me wrong. I watch movies and all that stuff, but I'm not the one out dressed up and things like that. So, um, you know, I, I'd rather be playing football on, on Halloween rather than you Dylan, know going out. Dylan said he'd go trick or treating on the on the hotel hallways. <laughs> and so hey, you might have to. You might have to make a little you know make a little fun out of it. Yeah. You know, I think our, our our team does a great job of that. Um, you know, I might have to, you know, join Dylan in that. Just go around messing around with a couple guys.